Hey guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina and today we're gonna be going to the thrift store. So I wanna go to the thrift store because I have a lot of things going on in dollhouse. I'm re-renovating the dollhouse because I don't know, like one day I was just like, hmm, I wanna give it something different. So we're giving the bathroom something completely different and we're giving this area something completely different. So I wanna go to the thrift store to find some things for that and I wanna see what dolls they have because last time you guys seen this doll, I refurbished her and she looks so pretty. You guys, she looks so pretty, huh? I love the way she came out. She looks so gorgeous. She, she looks like my mini me sister, so I just, named her Kyla. It's very close to my sister name. Her, my sister name is Kayla. So I was like, oh, she could be her sister. And my sister does have um, jet black hair. And my hair is honey blonde. So I'm like, oh, it works perfect. She don't have locks, but she has, she has jet black hair. So yeah, so that's why I named her Kyla. I wanna see what I can find in the thrift store. And if there's gonna be something good there that I could add to either the dollhouse or I can add to my collection. And I put up the other doll. Thank you guys so much for helping me figure out. I guess that doll's from Chile. And she's like from Traveling Around the World Barbie collection. So I'm very happy to have her in my collection. And I have some boots coming for her really soon. So let's go ahead and go to the store. Hey guys, so we're starting off in the doll section at my favorite thrift store. I was looking through the Barbies. They had so many Barbies this time. Last time it didn't have that much. Okay, that doll looks a little weird, but yeah. And then they had a lot of Cave Club dolls. It was so cool how many Cave Club dolls they had. Really, really cool. They had these ballerina dolls. I like that Nikki face mold. That was really cute. And then they had like a Superwoman doll that she was so cute. And I loved her. I think she was cute. I picked her up for a moment, but then I always pick up the dolls that I want so then no one else will snatch it up and then look through them and then figure it out. And then that Esmeralda looked really cute too. I liked her a lot as well. And I was looking through all the different dolls. They have types of boy dolls. And over here you see some hair adorable dolls. There's like a bag full of Chelsea dolls. I collect Kelly dolls. But these are a bag of Chelsea dolls. They're so cute. And these are some more. I think they're like Shopkin little dolls. Then these dolls are like mini brats. But I don't know if they were real or not. Because I never collected mini brats. But they were so cute. And I kept looking at them. They're really, really cute. Then there was this cute little baby doll. I don't collect baby dolls personally. But I thought her face was so cute. And I'm a kind of a sucker for inset eyes. And then there's a lot of Loopsie doll. A Na 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 doll right there. It was so beautiful. I thought she was so cute. And and then I looked in the back at some American Girl dolls. They have the small ones. The big ones that you usually have in the front counter, which I can't really show on camera because that's where they have like the dolls that cost a little more. So these are just all the 18 inch dolls that they have here. They had a poopsie doll right here. I thought about getting her. I was like contemplating, but I changed my mind. Then I started looking at the vehicles. They keep all the vehicles together. That's why I love this thrift store. And then I saw the RV. They had a rainbow high car. They had a Barbie Beetle. That RV was very tempting. Very, very tempting. But I ended up passing on it because I have a Barbie bus that I need to work on. So I was like, I'll get another one next time. So they had some cute trinkets. A little elephant that you saw there. It was good, but it didn't have a price on it. It was so cute. And then they have nice little trinkets that you can put in the dollhouse to decorate. To be vases, decorations, sculptures. This Barbie extra mirror. Isn't it so cute? Alright guys, so we're gonna go inside Goodwill. Let's see what we find. So as I walk inside of Goodwill, I look at the trinkets first. I was looking at the mugs, honestly, because honestly, confession, I do collect mugs as well. I have a lot of mugs. They had this Taz mug, but it did have a crack in it, so I didn't get it. So I was just looking along at the little trinkets and the little small things, see if I find anything for a dollhouse. Then I move on to the dolls, which their doll variety is not much, but honestly, you could find really good cars here. I found a good amount of cars in the goodwill so now here's a stack of dolls so i'm just gonna dig through them and see which ones i want to take home with me so after i was done at the thrift store i decided to head to dollar tree which i started to tour out of course so i was looking at these hot wheels because i do collect hot wheels as well and then i was looking at all the toys the miniature toys hot wheels and then i started looking at the barbie little mini accessories and they had some really cute little stuff that i was looking at 
before i'm always looking in the toilet aisle when i come to dollar tree so now you can see the barbie stuff that i was talking about they had a little tiaras accessories and things like that i just wanted to see if they had anything new they had the little miniature dolls that they usually have and then they have blind bags and then they had this cool um pool table and then i was looking at it i thought it was super cute and honestly that pool table cost way more amazon then they had these cute little tiny kelsey clothes or like kelly clothes or dolls made for these small dolls that they do have at the dollar tree i forgot the name of the doll but we'll talk about it once i do my haul but i ended up seeing one of the outfits that i did like and then these are the dollar tree fashion packs which are really cute and i was looking to see if there was ones i was interested in they definitely had a lot more variety than i'm used to in other dollar, dollar trees in my area but i really do love the options that i saw here and i think i got a pretty good haul so let's go ahead and go home and show you everything that i got okay guys so we're back let me turn my lights on so we're back and i went to the one of my favorite thrift stores and then i went to the goodwill thrift store and then i went to a big dollar tree which is right next to that goodwill and i got a couple of things guys so let's get straight into it so first i'm going to start with what i got from the my favorite thrift store which is the first store we went to so the first item i got was 5.99 so this is a doll that i got i don't think she's a barbie but if she is let me know in the comments down below she doesn't have nothing written in the back or at least it doesn't look like it in the back there's nothing on her neck area so i don't know if she's a barbie or not but she's a really cute doll no she's not a barbie definitely not a barbie but yeah but she had this cute little outfit on so i was like huh i'm gonna take her for 5.99 i'll take her and it'll be real cute you know to make a little cute outfit for my doll from her and i like the skirt the skirt's really cute the skirt's part of this whole outfit, but I can make it into a separate two-piece. If we just add a little bit of um, elastic and take this part off. And then look at this little neck piece right there. And then she has like a bow in her hair on the sides. It's really cute. I really like this hat, so this hat would be really cute for summer. So I really do like that. And you guys, she she's glued to this stand. I kind of want the stand. But I don't know how to remove the glue. Maybe I'll cut around it. But if you guys have an easier way to remove the glue, let me know in the comments down below. And then she has like these clear shoes. I thought she was pretty cute. So I snagged her up and she has really cute earrings. Oh my goodness. They're really, really cute. It's like this right here. Really cute and I like that. So the next thing I got from the thrift store, this Star Wars Princess Leia ceremonial gown. 1999 portrait edition doll i got her for 14.99 that's how she looks in the box so beautiful this is how the box looks in the back it says she was made by hasbro's her box says 1998 yeah and it says that this is the uh for adult collectors right there in the corner and it says number one of series of three and it has a doll stand it said she does have a little bit of like eroding around the neck with the plastic that's around her so i'm probably going to unbox her unless you guys know how to get rid of that in a kush I i'm gonna unbox her because i think she's so beautiful like i just want her out of the box so yeah i got me princess leia so the next thing that i got from the thrift store i got this because she's wearing a ken's fashion outfit <laughs> so i got this princess jasmine she was 4.99 but she's wearing a ken outfit so so i bought this for him like i don't know um the princess her hair is still like intact with the gem and everything i'll probably fix her up because she still got her earrings and everything and i'll probably give her a blue outfit just to have her because you know i think i have this doll already but i think i have her in purple for a thrift store that was in box from new from the 90s really nice but my kid's definitely gonna be wearing this striped outfit let's open it up so we get a closer look okay see it's a closer look it still has all the snaps and everything because i'm not gonna lie these suits these type of ken suits they get really expensive online so when i saw them on this doll i was like 
Oh, she has a cancer I like, so let me buy her. And I like it. Really cute. So you'll be seeing my can with that. And then let's move on to the Goodwill stuff. So from Goodwill, I got this Snapstar doll. She's the Dawn Snapstar doll. Now I got her. Oh, well, they put tape over her so she won't be nude. Okay. She's wear it looks like she's wearing a brat's outfit. But um yeah, so I want to make her custom and make her they probably leave her with a shortcut or give her a custom wig depending on how I feel. And this doll has like a lot of articulation with her foot. It's so cute and the arm articulation with the hand. So cute. It's just her makeup looks kind of crazy, but I feel like if I repaint her, she'll look a lot better. A lot better so she is a project that I want to work on and then the next doll that I got let me put her in this because she's nude and I I just don't want to put her nude on this channel okay let me put this on her real quick okay guys so I got this fashionista inside of Goodwill every time I think of her I think of Nakia if you guys watch um, a Ren Renee Amore animes she um has a doll on one of her skits that looks just like this doll and when i saw her i kind of laughed to myself but honestly she's so pretty i really like the way she looks she's really cute and then i already have a made to move body that i just have sitting around so i'm gonna give it to her and she's gonna be a petite doll so we're gonna restore her clean her hair up give her a nice wash and give her a new life so this is gonna be one of our makeup projects so let's go ahead and lay her down over here so next thing that i'm gonna show you guys is stuff i got from dollar tree so from dollar tree i got this multi-pack of accessories for a dollar 25 from the toy section i do love these shoes because these shoes do be fitting my curvy dolls you know because the majority of my dolls that's their size so i'm glad to have they, all these shoes, even if they're repeat colors, I can paint them and then there'll be a whole new pair of shoes for my doll and I really do love that. So I love getting these from the Dollar Tree and it comes with little purses and you can paint them and add details to them. It's so cool. And then the next thing that I got from the Dollar Tree, I got this pool table that will be perfect for the dollhouse. Okay, because I want to make something for my dolls that... This, there'll be space or room for this and I love this. I think this is so neat and cool. I don't know, I love it. And then it comes with everything. It was $1.25, it's a pool table game. And yeah, so it has, um, I don't know if it has legs in it, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna take dowels and glue them on the bottom and paint them black. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's really, really cute and I got this from Dollar Tree. So the next thing that I got from Dollar Tree is this little tiny doll outfit. Now these are made for these dolls right here, but I can't find them. I really want this one here, that's Al Alanis right here. I want her so bad, but I didn't see them inside of the Dollar Tree. So, but I did see the little fashion packs and I do want to try the fashion pack on my little Kelly doll that I got recently because it looks like it would fit her really cute. So let me show you guys again. Look how cute that is. The other ones were really cute, but this one really caught my eye because it looked more so something I would dress a little doll, a little girl doll in. And it was so cute. So the last thing that I got from the Dollar Tree, I got these totally tinies. I've been seeing people get these totally tinies from Dollar Tree and they had all the blind bags mixed up. I literally went through a whole bunch of blind bags to find these. And then I, when I found them, I felt them to fill up to make sure I did not get a repeat. And it was a whole thing, but it, it was so much fun. But I ended up, I hopefully I ended up finding all the ones that I want. There's only three that you can get. You can either get Cheerios or the taco. You can get the macarons or the cookie, or you could get the eggs with the toast. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and open it on the channel right now because I wanna go ahead and have fun with these with my dolls. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start with this one right here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Hopefully I was right because it felt good. It felt like it was right. Let's see. 
okay so it's a bag yes this is the toast and the eggs i knew it i knew it oh this is so cute look at that look at the toast and the eggs i'm gonna keep them in the back for now so i won't lose them because i have all my dog food together like organized so yeah i want to make sure that this does not get lost but we did get the eggs and the toast with butter look at the little butter on there melted and i don't have no regular toast for my dolls and all the toast has like decoration and eggs already on it so i'm glad to have regular toast or avocado so um let's see what this one is hopefully i'm right this one hold on this is the macarons with the cookie all right <laughs> i was right okay yeah so these are the macarons they're little cute little macarons and then it has a little sugar cookie this is so cute i love this i love it, I love it. okay so for our last bag let's open this up this one should be the churro and a taco let's see ah i knew it i got all of them so yeah, the churro and the taco. So look at this taco. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. All right, guys. So that's it for all of my hauls. Thank you guys so much for coming with me and for sharing my little journey shopping for doll things and little miniatures. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are not notified so you can get notified when I do post videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.